interrupted by the botanicals of melatonin that supports your natural sleep cycle. So you can seize the morning. Hmm. <laughs> see how this thing works. Hey, hey. You gotta clean this knee. Y'all close your eyes real quick. Close your eyes. Alright. Hey, hey, Candy. How you doing, Candy? What's going on, my sister? What's up? Okay, I'm in the dog right now because I gotta go in my room. Y'all please forgive me. How to do? Wanna say how to do to everybody here? Seven people in the room. Seven people. Y'all come on and eight people in the room. Come on in the room. Eight people in the room. Eleven people in the room. I dare all eleven y'all, ten of y'all to hit that like button. I dare you right now. I dare all nine of y'all to hit that like button. I dare you right now. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. Let me get myself situated. All right. Thirteen people in the room. I dare all thirteen of you to hit that dang on like button. Candy, I see you go I love and not hate. That's what I'm talking about. Talk it. Bambi, what's going on? Hey, Bambi. What's up? Say I'm great. Can't wait to play Family Feud tomorrow. And I can't wait to play either. I'm telling you, boy, we be having fun on that. Miss Z, what's going on, Miss Z? Miss Z saying hello to everyone. Crazy Pop in the house. What's up, Crazy Pop? 15 people in the house. All I need y'all to do is hit that like button. 16 people in the house. I need... Oh, seven people to hit that like button. Sixteen people in the house. All right, this is what I want to do. Since I can't get you guys to hit that like button, just tell me this right quick. Cause I just came out of the kitchen. I did this, man. And um, my wife is in Texas, so she hungry. But she coming home tonight. She just got off the plane in Texas, and I got to pick up at the port. I'm trying to turn this thing around. All right, look. If you if you eat stuff like this, this is stewed chicken, y'all. If you eat stuff like this, please hit the like button. Let me know if you hit this, if you like this. Comment in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? This is stewed chicken, y'all. And I'm talking like the way mama them used to do it. You feel me? The way mama them used to do it. Simple, easy, nothing hard. Mimi, what's up? Angela, what's going on? What's going on? Midnight, what's up, midnight? Dean, what's up? What's going on? Pace rewarding in the house. What up, Pace? Got D in the house. What up, D? Donna just being real. Hey, Gore. What's going on? What's going on? Going on. How did you know where to find me today? With a lot of hot sauce. Girl, that's... I, whoo, this one right here, though? This one right here? I played with this one. I played with this one. This the way mama did it. This the way mama did it, right? This the way mama didn't do it. This the way mama didn't do it. But I'm gonna eat this one. Mama still be proud of me though. You feel me? Liz, what's up? Pam, what's up? Mama did it this way. Mama didn't do it this way, but mama still would be proud of me. I ain't lying, I ain't lying. 24 people in the room, man. 24 people in the room. Oh, I can get big on the screen? Oh my God, what? I didn't know I could do this with this phone, Jesus. Ooh, I didn't know I could do that with that phone. Now, can y'all really see that right there? Can y'all really see that? Ooh, that's the way mama used to do it right there. Yeah, stew chicken, y'all. Stew chicken. What's going on, honey? Stew chicken. This is the way mama didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? But this is the way I did it. She still would be proud of me. I'm not lying, I ain't lying, I ain't lying. She will still be proud of me. Yes, yes. But look, y'all remember eating like this, man. When mama did it, and her grandma did it, and she blend all them flavors together with that rice, over a bed of rice. Huh? And look at look how tender that chicken is. Look how tender. See, that skin right there, that look. Some people pull their skin off. I ain't pulling mine off. Because that's where the flavor at, y'all. That's where the flavor at. You know what I mean? Look how tender that chicken is. Stewed chicken. Stewed chicken. Yes. Let me get a taste. Let me get a taste. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 
Good Lord. Good Lord. Y'all look. Mama will be proud. The winking. Peas. Barbecue. What up? What's going on? Corey. What's up, Corey? Shanice, what up, girl? I hope I'm saying it right. Shanice? 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 <laughs> Lord have mercy. But I just did this on the, um, in the stove, right? In the stove. I just cooked this. And I took out a pack of chicken thighs. And I was like, man, what the hell am I going to do with these damn thighs? I got, I got to cook them now because I can't put them back in the deep freezer. <laughs> My whole intention was to go ahead and like sear the chicken thighs, man, over the stove, and already I was gonna make some pasta. I thought I had some spaghetti in the um, cabinets, two boxes. You know how we be having that leftover stuff in the cabinets. So I had like one box of leftover um, pasta and a whole box. So I thought that both of them were the same that they were spaghetti. And so when I heated the water up and seasoned it up or whatever like that to boil my noodles. I poured that empty box in it where that halfway empty box in there, and I noticed, noticed that it was fettuccine noodles. And the other box that was whole was spaghetti noodles. So I just said, you know what, man, I just go with the flow on this one. And I know that my wife's gonna want some and she's not a big fan of the pasta or whatever. So I just saved that box, picked some rice, and um, I'm gonna kill both of these, y'all. Y'all think I'm boosted, I'm not lying. I'm gonna kill both of these plates. I'm telling you, I'm going to eat both on bird. What's going on? What's going on? Matt Linden Enterprises. What's up from North Carolina? What part of the Carolina you from? That's what's up, man. But let me give you a drive by one more time on this before I smash it. And this thing, I got to see how I do that one more time. That is, that is, before I lay the smack down on this sucker right here left. Put the smack down on that right there. That's how mama and them used to do it right there. Y'all think I'm like, that's a James. What's up, James? But that's how James. They, ain't that how mama and them used to do it? But this is how Ray do it. But I still tell you, mama would be proud. I'm not lying. I ain't lying. I ain't lying. I ain't lying. If I was lying, I don't know. I ain't lying. But anyway, I got a video on this one. I did do a video on this one. And the video that I'm doing on this one is going to be somewhat um, kind of different. You know what I mean? It's hot in this kitchen now. It's going to be different when y'all see these, see this video here for both of these recipes. I took it back, man, to where I was doing videos like for the first time on YouTube. Um, doing videos on the phone without a tripod and all the other kind of stuff, man. Working with one hand and not doing no... Um, voiceovers but just doing the actual voice on the um video so i'm taking it back man to like old school just want to you know see how i can get that old vibe back or feel that vibe back back then you know how you had those camp for those of you youtube creators who are cooks and started out on the phone you know it's going to be a little shakiness and this you know to hear there or whatever like that and that's what i want to do man trying to see how that take me back to that old feel but um yeah this phone is pretty good that i did the video on and this food man is pretty damn good too mm -hmm. this is seasoned to the max man this is seasoned to the max i'm not lying you ain't getting no better than this Mama would be proud of me right now. Boy, she would be. Boy, I got to show y'all this one more time. SG to be. What up, SG? This is stew chicken, SG, the way Mama and them used to do it. Let me get a close-up. Let me get a close-up. I had to go live, Tina. I had to go live. You say hot sauce drizzle. Boy, all right. I'm going to put some hot sauce on it. I'm going to see how that tastes. I ain't never put hot sauce on my stewed chicken. Never. But then I hit them with this one right here, SG and Tina. Check it out. See, that's mama way. This is mama way right here. 
stewed chicken with the rice. This is my way right here. Stewed chicken with some fettuccine. This was a mistake plate. I'm gonna see how this tastes. I tasted that rice. Let me see how this tastes. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I, I did that work on that. I did that work on that pasta. I did that work. I did, ooh, you see them seeds. I, I showed y'all the shoe bars, didn't I? Look at that, bam. You seen the shoe bars, didn't you? Don't let that, don't get it twisted. That's the shoe box. That's the shoe box. Y'all seen the shoe box. <laughs> Boy, y'all see the shoe box. Don't get it twisted now. Everybody should have a shoe box. I'm going to show you that shoe box in a minute. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mama would. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Yo, when I do this video, I'm telling y'all, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. If y'all don't try this recipe, something wrong with somebody. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Lord have mercy, y'all. Mm, let me see what you say. You say, I'm telling. Fanchine, look. Hey, Pete, what's up, Pete? Man, I seen you on that live and you showed that video and you doing that. I don't know if that was a, that was a, like a big giant beef pot pie, but that sucker was looking good, bro. I'm telling you, Pete. Hold on, y'all. Let me eat there. I gotta eat there. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Look. Look. Y'all. When I tell y'all that this is good, that this is good, when I tell y'all that this is nothing but the truth, When I tell y'all that this right here ain't nothing but the truth, so help me, me, I'm telling you, bro, I am telling you, hot dang it. Oh, I said I was going to take, I'm going to show y'all I was in that shoebox. I'm going to show y'all I was in that shoebox. I'm going to show y'all how mom and them did it, too. Let me get a piece of this chicken over here. Dang, gone, boy. See how you do it. You get a piece of that chicken. And you try to string them pasta noodles up the best way you can. Hmm. I'm going to get a hit of this right here. I'm going to get a hit of this. Mm, 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 mm. 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 Good God, I reckon. Y'all forgive me. But I'm going to show you that. What's in the shoebox? Y'all need a shoebox. If you don't have a shoebox, invest in one. All right? I'm giving y'all my secrets, right? See this shoebox? It's, it's very, okay, okay. All right, before I do this, I want y'all to look at me. If you want to cook some good mother freaking food, not saying that with the food that you don't cook is good already. I'm saying, man, if you want to cook some good freaking food, get you a shoebox, right? Get you a shoebox and you stack up these ingredients in that shoebox. Whatever you do, don't let nobody get to your shoebox. You you feel me? So that means you keep your shoebox close at hand. You guide, you, you, you guard that shoebox with your life. You feel me? Huh? I'm serious, y'all. If you don't get no shoebox, then you ain't cooking. So y'all seen it here first, and I'm gonna share with you what's in this here shoebox. Because the shoe box is going to, it's going to change your whole entire life. All right, here we go. Check it out. I'm going to get deep on y'all right now. Now, just to let you know what your shoe box is able to create. Look at this here. Bam. Look at this here. Stuff like that, man. I got to get it. Get, one more time. One more time. Bam. See, the shoe box will make stuff like this happen, y'all. And I'm talking about flavor. I wish I had somebody here that could taste this, man. They would tell y'all, this mother freaker is crazy. He's a mad scientist. 
when it come down with the shoebox. Okay, okay. That's enough of my. Here we go. This is what's in the shoebox. First thing you got to do, man, you got to get a shoebox. It don't matter where you get the shoebox from, as long as your shoebox can hold some of your spices. It might not be able to hold all of your spices, but some. You know what I'm saying? At least your, at least you can stack it up in there. So that means if you got to go anywhere, I ain't talking about getting no bag, getting no no satchel or nothing like that. No, forget the bag and get you a shoebox. Shoebox. That means wherever you go, you just grab the shoebox and you go. You understand? You grab the shoebox and you go. Okay, okay. Here we go. Now, you're going to first need kosher salt. I ain't talking about you no know, table salt, none of that bull crap. No, you're going to need kosher salt. That's one thing that got to be in the shoebox. Now, for those of y'all who don't know nothing about these products, I'm going to break it down to y'all right now. You see in my couple of videos, a few last videos, you see me use this stuff. I bought this at Ross. Y'all, I'm telling y'all right now, I'm going back to Ross to get me two more bottles of these because if this run out, and I've been using it kind of on the regular, you know what I'm saying? I, I got to try to either um, make me some of this myself or I had to go back and get some. You see that? That's Ross, $3.99. All right, oregano, basil, and tomato. That got to be in the shoebox. It's a must that that be in the shoebox, all right? Next thing is this right here, garlic and onion. This comes from Ross. You understand? Do y'all feel me right now? Before I go any further, I got to know. I'm trying to show y'all something, and I need to know, man, if y'all cooperating with me right now. Do y'all? Do y'all? Do you see what I'm saying right now? Before I go any further, if you do, just put an X on there. That let me know that you you feel me. You know where I'm coming from, okay? Because I'm trying to show y'all how to cook, man. Good freaking. Down home southern food. I got one X. I got okay. All right, man. God, I don't. Even, I don't want to waste this time and energy showing y'all something if y'all ain't gonna go back and play this video because some of y'all need pens and papers and all that stuff, man. So you can write this stuff down and that's how you are gonna build your shoebox. I don't mean to yell. I'm just giving y'all my secrets, okay? So this is very important to me. I want y'all to cook the same food that I'm cooking, okay? All right, here we go. Now, let me go back again. All right, so we got the salt. We got the seasonings from Ross. I gave it to you. It's close up. Go to Ross and get this stuff, y'all. All right, so we got that. The next thing you're going to need, listen, black pepper. Black pepper. You can find this at any dollar store. You can find this at um, Bit Lots. Or go to your grocery store, get the dollar bottle. You don't buy that. Hold on. Just so y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, all right. Dip between black pepper, y'all. Okay. Black pepper that costs a dollar. Even though that this is like the great value, this ain't going to cost you no dollar. It probably costs you a dollar and 79 cents or something. But I can't stand this stuff because it's powder. This right here, you can see your food. You can see it. You can see your, your pepper. You feel me? So if you can buy this instead of this, that's a winner. So that got to be in your shoebox. That's why this ain't in my shoebox. Did I just? Okay. Okay. Did y'all just get that? That's why this pepper right here ain't in my shoebox. Because no, no, no. It don't fit the grade to be in my shoebox. That's why this pepper is in my shoebox. So every little thing counts, y'all. I'm telling you, you don't have to spend a lot of money to make flavors pop. I'm serious. Y'all got to understand where I'm coming from. Listen. Listen, please, y'all. Okay? Okay. All right. Drew Miller. Drew Miller. My What's up, Drew? I got to show you some love, Drew. You know I got to show you some love, Drew. Seriously. All right. All right. Uh, Mimi says she writing it down. Here we go, Mimi. All right, Mimi. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So we got these items right here. That's in the shoebox already. You know what I mean? Now, yeah, as y'all can see, I got two of them peppers. I'm telling you, man, I love this here. I love this, man. I love that. Remember now, make sure you get that. Always, y'all, parsley flakes. Always. This only cost me a dollar, too. Always. You try to look for the parsley that stands out. Don't get that dust. They got some dust parsley. Stay away from the dust. Stay away from it, all right? The next thing y'all going to need is some complete seasoning. 
You can find this at Walmart. Your local grocery store might carry it or whatever like that, man. Get it. Get it. All right? Get that. You know what I mean? And then y'all going to need some of this. I'm telling you. Look. Fix you some beef in the house. I don't care what you do. You can grill a steak on the stove on the on the grill and use some of this right here to marinate that steak in. I guarantee you, boy, anything you use as far as beef wise, you get that, things gonna happen. All right. The next thing you always gonna need is this right here. This, y'all. A lot of us cook chicken all the time. We that's all we do. So in in, in order for them flavors to be enhanced, you want people to palettes to go crazy they you got to have some of this in the shoe box that's a must now you got to have lemon pepper ah I, I don't mind the brands that you use but get the best lemon pepper because the best kind that i got i use spain spices i ordered this online you know what i'm saying i know the people that have this stuff right here and i love it man i order my own bottles i'm telling you y'all I ain't getting them to send me anything. The first, the first group of seasonings they sent me, I purchased. But the next group of seasonings, when I ran out of that, I had to end up buying my own. They, I guess they hooked me in when they told me to review their stuff, man, and, and I did. Now I'm hooked. I got to have this all the time. That's why that's in the shoebox. And this is another one. Garlic herb seasoning from Spain Spices. That's why that's in the shoebox. And this is another one. All in, all in one. And then when I do these videos and y'all see this stuff, man, and I say, hey, this is all in one Spain Spices, that means you, this is an all-purpose seasoning. So you can use your own all-purpose seasoning, but get the good stuff. Don't get the cheapest. Get the good stuff. You feel me? That got to be in your shoebox, y'all. And then you got to have some type of spicy seasoning, whether it's a spicy or Cajun. You know what I mean? This is good right here, the Spain Spices. And this was, see, I ran out of this. I'm, I'm on my last leg of this here um, Black Magic Cajun seasoning, right? Spiceologists, man, they got some good stuff, man. Some of the best that I think of. But now I'm out of that, so, hey, that might be it for that one because I don't think I can order that one. That, that's expensive. But this one right here takes the place of that there Cajun. Don't get it twisted. That's good. See, that's an empty bottle, y'all. See that? See that black pepper? Here's another thing. Look. You can go to the grocery store, man, and go into the Hispanic um, aisles, get their seasoning. I swear to God. Don't, don't go to those spice racks no more. Okay, I got to turn y'all around. Listen. Listen. Sweat. Don't go to the spice racks no more, man, over there. Go to the Hispanic aisle and buy all their seasonings. I'm not lying. Go buy all their seasonings. I ran out of this right here, so when I was at... The um dollar store, I, I looked at that and I'm like, this is similar as to this where the grains were thick, where you can see the grains or whatever. I'm telling you, go to the Hispanic aisle, man. You won't be disappointed. Moving right along. All right. Then we got some garlic powder. That's a must. That got to be in the shoebox. All right. See, that's the original Spain right there. I told y'all, boy, I be on that Spain kick, man. This is how they drew me in. See that small bottle? See, this is what they used to sell. This is where I was sampling. Now, look at this bottle right here. You see that? See how big it is now? See? They selling them big portions now, man. And I'm like, dang, boy, I got the head. They got me hook, line, and sinker. And this is what this is, y'all. The original seasoning. Different names, but it's the same stuff. I got the head. Yes. Okay. Going back over here, that's garlic powder. I already said garlic powder, didn't it? Yeah, so I got to have garlic powder in there. Make sure some onion powder in there, too. I got to get that again. And here's that other Spain's right there. Yeah, I told y'all, man, I'm hook, line, and sinker. Now, this right here is my barbecue seasoning right here from um, Carly Spice. You feel me? That woman can cook up some stuff. She's on YouTube, and I'm telling you, she got some of the best. And I'm going to start using this. I'm going to start using this here barbecue seasoning for some of my barbecue cooks coming up. But this is my shoebox, y'all. This is everything that's in my shoebox. Now, if you got these in your arsenal, you know what I mean? Like I say, the only thing that's really missing out of this one is the onion powder. So I got to get me some onion powder. But with these spices, that's all you need. I'm telling you. Got me sweating like a... That's all you need. So I hope y'all had a pen and a piece of paper. You know what I mean? And let me acknowledge y'all real quick. Because, um... This is all right, right? Let me see. Who did I miss? Angela, what's going on, Angela? 
And that's what I'm talking about. I'm a black pepper junkie too, Pete. Like it. Hey, Kev, what's going on, Kev? You say, I have two unhauled, um, what's that, moving boxes full of season. I know that's right, bro. I know that's right. <laughs> she say, laugh out loud, not the dust. You better say it. The Dollar Tree has the complete seasonings now. Hey, grab it. If the dollar, if the dollar store got that seasoning now, go ahead, man, and grab it. I'm serious. I'm gonna eat both of these plates. Y'all think I'm joking. Mmm. This is going I don't got the video coming for this, y'all. I'm, I'm serious. No more boots. Hey, boo. How you doing, sister? Forever purple. How you doing? Forever purple. This might be for you. This is chicken. And I know how you do. Because after you finish doing what you do, you can probably run through this right here. I'm telling you. I know by experience also. You can run through this right here. Stewed chicken. This is how mama them used to do it. Stewed chicken and rice. That's how mama them used to do it. This is how I did it. I got the video showing you how I did all of this in one. All of this in one. And I'm serious. This right here, boy, I don't care. I, see, I, I thought it might have been a mistake because I didn't have a spaghetti. You know what I'm saying? I had a spaghetti box, but I thought I had two, two boxes, a box and a half. But then that half box ended up being fettuccine. And I'm like, okay, I think I might have to try this fettuccine one more time. Well, I swear to God. Hold on, y'all. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I think I can do something with that. I can do something with that. Mm. I'm not lying. I can do something with that. 30 people here. 29 people here now. Albert, you say, what's up, everyone? From Albert and Nancy. Hey, what's up, bro? Lisa Parker? Lisa Parker. Anybody seen Miss Parker? If you see Miss Parker, you tell her Ray Mac been looking for her. You say that's where you get your spices from. Hey, look, the Hispanic aisle is the truth, y'all. I'm serious, man. It's the truth. When I show y'all how to do this recipe, right? It's nothing to it. I, I'm telling you. It's easy. It's simple. Mm, get on a look. Mm. It's easy, simple, homemade. You know what I'm saying? We ain't working with no canned products or nothing like that. But I'm telling you, the video, y'all might be like, man, this video got to be some kind of bummy video because I'm I'm doing it the old way. The old way like I used to do it back when I first started doing YouTube cooking videos. I want to give a I want to feel that vibe once again. You know what I'm saying? Just holding the camera up with one hand and cooking with the other hand. You know what I'm saying? So, when you guys see this video, man, you know, you're going to be like, dang, man, that's a shade. But no, watch the video. I'm telling you. I am telling you. <laughs> I am going. Mm. This is the best stew chicken I ever had. There is no one, no, 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 no one who can cook stew chicken like this. Except my mama, though. Yeah. My mom. My mama can cook stew chicken like this. I ain't lying. I ain't lying. I ain't lying. Betty Cheney. And what is that? Well, I don't even know what that is. I have more service there. All right, Pete. Regina. Hey, Regina. Who's this, TL? What's up, TL? Mimi say, you got to listen to all your seasoning. Thank, got to listen to all your seasoning. Hey, Mimi, that's what's up. Mimi, if you take these seasonings, these are my basic in, in seasoning that you will pretty much see me do on videos. And then if there's something else in the cabinets that I might use, especially like for my barbecue, when I do my barbecuing, you might, you know, in this box, I do like cumin, fire spice, and other kind of stuff like that that's not in this box. So I know what I need for barbecuing because I got everything like sectioned out. You know what I'm saying? That's in my cabinets. But 
my main go-to ingredients will be these. So I take these, I take this shoe box and listen to me now. I'm not joking with y'all. I'm, I'm being as real as I could possibly be. I take these seasonings and I put them up under my bed. Y'all, I'm not lying, bro. I swear to God, I put them up under my bed. The reason being because when my daughters them come over here, they don't, y'all, they don't live here. It's just me and my wife right now, but they don't live here. But when they come here, man, and they, they cooking, man, they have your junk everywhere, bro. You got to look for stuff. I ain't got time for that. I just take my stuff and I put it right up under my bed. You feel me? I'm serious like it be. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. One more time. I'm going to do the rundown, y'all, one more time. But look. Look at this. Look at this. This is stew chicken. I'm talking like country fried, y'all. I'm talking about down home. Lord, I miss my grandma. You know what I'm saying? My Aunt Esther and all them kind that used to cook. Uh-oh. Rotate. That used to cook kind of food. I, that's what I'm talking about, man. I'm serious. Y'all think I'm joking. Mm. And this one right here. Is that Ray Mac Negro you went in there and tried to concoct something kind of junk, but then you put old on something new and you be like, okay. But no, nah, this ain't nothing old, man. My mama used to do that stewed chicken with spaghetti pasta all the time. But she used to do it with noodles and stuff too, egg noodles. So I kind of thought this would be good just to have some pasta with, but I thought it might have been spaghetti, but I found out it's fettuccine that was in that box. Mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Lord, man, if y'all was sitting in a restaurant, man, and y'all saw this on the menu, how many y'all would order this? How many y'all would order this if you seen it on the menu? It'll say something like filet mignon, $15.99 with some kind of other kind of crap, but then it'll say stewed chicken. Stewed chicken and rice. You know how the restaurants is. Twelve ninety nine. Would you buy this? Would you overstep this to get that filet mignon? Because I'm telling you right now, this some country fried good eating, boy. Mmm. Lord help mama. My mama would be proud. I'm not lying. She so would. My mama would be proud. Of her son. Mama, Mama, you know I love you. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Water bottle falling on the ground. Have scared the shit out of me. So let me the water bottle talking to me. See, look, it was over there sitting. I had it thawing out because it had ice in it. And you know how to get that little bowls down at the bottom. So I had it sitting on the counter and it just fell. So I must know that I needed a drink right now. I'm gonna pop that sucker over. Them flavors is off the hook. And for those of you people who be leaving comments, I'm gonna use my shirt, y'all, cause I ain't got time. I ain't got. Mm -mm. I gotta use my shirt, cause I'm taking the shirt off anyway. Take me a bath. My wife coming home tonight. She been in Texas since Wednesday. She been in Texas since Wednesday, and I had the house all to myself since Wednesday, and I enjoyed my peace and my quiet. But now I'm getting bored because I miss my old lady. I hate to say that. I ain't never thought I was going to say that I miss her. I, I miss my old lady. Girl, I miss you, girl. You know daddy miss you. Come on home, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Come on home. Bring it on home to me. Yeah. Well. Mm, 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 mm. You say you order both of them, me, me. Ooh, me, me, my girl. 
Mimi, my girl. You're my girl. Hey, Regina, Southern food is good, sweetie. I'm telling you, I live in North Carolina. And that's all we know. That's all we know, baby. I'm sure. And you know, this ain't bad, but I'm going to tell you something. My mom is blind, and that woman can cook like a mother. <laughs> God knows, boy, I wish I could get at my mama table one more time, boy. I swear to God. That was a mean cooking woman right there. That woman could cook her off, boy. Everything that that woman touched in the kitchen, I swear to God, was pure tea gold. Mm. There's one thing I can't fix. Well, there's probably a few things that I can't fix that my mama used to cook. I can't fix up spaghetti for nothing in the world. I swear, man. And she ain't did no none of these jar spaghettis. She wasn't the type of person. My mama old school when it come down to cooking. Her spaghetti man was like, the only thing that she used in the can was Hunt's tomato paste and Hunt's, Hunt's tomato sauce. That's it. She didn't use the jar or nothing like that. You know what I mean? Everything else was like cooked from the veggies all the way down, man, to that sauce. And she let that sauce sit up there and cook for like at least a good hour and a half to two. And man, you can smell that room up in that, that on house. And I tried it. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But I couldn't get my sauce to stick to that pasta the way that she do it. I don't know if some of y'all mamas like that, but you know, where she got a, your mama got a recipe that you tried to cook, try to perfect, even though she tell you, it still don't come out quite right. You know what I mean? And that's how it is with my mama's spaghetti, man. I, tw I tell you. Say, what bread would you serve with that? Well, here's the deal. This is what you could do. You could use yeast rolls. Yeast rolls go with anything that, you know what I'm saying? You could use biscuits. And even if you ain't want to buy your own biscuits, I would say, man, you know, canned biscuits is good, but if you didn't want to make your own biscuits in the store, I do know that they sell like biscuit mix that you could put buttermilk in. If you could use buttermilk in any type of those biscuit mix, that'll be a plus. Or you could go ahead and you could use the frozen um, garlic bread or whatever like that, man. That'll be good. The frozen garlic bread will work. And I do know that they sell some of this garlic bread with cheese already on it. Hey, get it a try. I ain't never tried it. But um, if you want to go to the to the bread aisle at your local store, man, and, and get you some French bread or something like that, cut it up and make you some garlic butter and butter it up yourself, that'll be probably 10 times better. You feel me? And um, French baguette, you know what I mean? You could cut the French baguette up. And I tell you what will be good since I since you put it like that. The French baguette, if you cut that up and um you make you some some um some olive oil, some some herb olive oil, um Italian olive oil, and if you toast them briguettes and you you know make you some um garlic butter, something like that to put on there and toast them up, that'd probably be good too. You know what I mean? Sir, sir. Pastry board and in the house. Garlic bread with the cheese is real good. They sell it at a 99 cent store. Hey, all oh, that's kind of good, man. I love this stuff, y'all. I can eat it with bread or without. I'm telling you, another thing that I used to do when my mama used to cook this stew, I'd take a piece of bread while her back is turned and I'd open up that pot real quick and I'd dip it into that, that stew, stew gravy. And then try to hurry up and eat it. But you know that sucker be so daggone hot, boy, it hit your daggone mouth. And you sitting there, you trying not to make no noise. And the palate of your mouth be all messed up. Then the roof of your mouth got a little meat hanging down. <laughs> oh, man, I did that with everything that she used to cook. Her pinto beans. I would dip bread in the pinto beans. And keep it. try to keep it moving. Man, with her spaghetti sauce, I know I did that indeed. And then when she used to make her stew beef and had that gravy sitting up in that mug. And that's another thing, y'all. I'm going to do a video of her stew beef. And she do it on the top stove. And I'm talking like just three damn, excuse me, three ingredients, salt and pepper. You know what I mean? I say three ingredients. I'm sorry, y'all. We're basically two ingredients, salt and pepper. You know what I mean? Salt and pepper. That's all she put 
in that row, salt and pepper. And an onion, so that is three. You know what I mean? And just made it as basic as possible, but it, it was down home delicious, man. I tell you, that's what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, down home delicious. And I'm walking from one plate to the next, because I'm telling you right now, this ain't nothing to play with. That woman gonna love it when she get home. I ain't gonna lie. She gonna love it. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Let y'all look at it one more time. This one more shot. This one more shot. This is stewed chicken with fettuccine noodles. And I... I hooked these noodles up. I'm telling you, I hooked these noodles up. I cooked these noodles, y'all. I ain't playing. Y'all, I cooked these noodles. I seasoned the crap out of these noodles. You can taste all the mad flavor in these noodles. Mm. That chicken just is good and tender. Lord, if they sold this man in the store, this would rock. Because people would want Southern southern eating. This would rock. You serve this at your table with family members, they swear out that you'll be a cooking god. And I'm not just saying that just to be saying it, but I'm, I'm being serious as I could possibly be, y'all. They swear out, man, that you'll be a cooking god. Because this stuff ain't nothing. But the daggone true. Uh. Y'all gonna have to forgive me. Stewed chicken and rice? What? What? I'm gonna do this right quick. Hold on. I gotta put some more gravy in this. Put some more stew in the ham. Mm, I'm gonna spoon that. Oh. I got a little more stew in my bowl. And my bowl of rice. There's some more stew in my bowl. La la la. Stew in my bowl. In my bowl. Up. Look at all that stew. I gotta get it. You gotta get down in there. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get down in there. And get some stew in my bowl. And put it over my eyes. Get some stew in my bowl. Put it over my rice. La 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 Got my stew in my bowl. Oh, here's another piece of here's some bread, man. This is some um French baguette right here, y'all. Sometimes when y'all go buy these, right? When you buy these, I like doing I like mashing mine, bro. The firmer it is, the better. You know what I'm saying? And Pace Reward, and if you still here, man, give give your take, man, of how to find, you know what I'm saying, the freshest bread possible. You know what I mean? What would be the, the thing to look for? You know what I'm saying? But right now, that's that's good bread. Yeah. And I got a video coming tomorrow. I'm doing a shout out to um one of my um YouTube um um family members, man. And in that video, Grandma Cheap Cheap, hey girl! Hey, Grandma Chi-Chi, how you doing, boo? Look, look, Mom, look, Mom. I got stew in my bowl. Stew chicken and rice. And then I made me some um, stew. I made me some pasta. And I hooked that pasta up, and I just put some of that stew chicken right on top of that pasta, Mom. I'm eating both of these. I'm eating both of these, Mom. You know, we took it old school. Let me give you a close-up. Look, Mom. We took it back. We took it back. We ain't playing with them, ma. We ain't playing with them. 
You know what I'm talking about? We ain't playing with them. We ain't playing with them. So, this is what I was saying, y'all. Think about this for a minute. It's 18 of y'all here. All right? Think about this for a minute. I got two ingredients. A roll, right? This right here is a um, French baguette roll and smoked sausage. I was gonna, I'm going to do a smoked sausage, mm, smoked sausage sandwich. What ingredients would you add to that smoked sausage sandwich if you wanted to make it yours? See, that's what I'm doing. And I'm taking those ingredients that somebody, that the people give me and make the sandwich. And then I'm going to do a video and I'm going to give the person a shout out for the ingredients that I use. All right. So definitely I'm going to do a smoked sausage sandwich. And I did the smoked sausage sandwich. Man, I'm telling you right now, that sucker was good. It was good. So I might just implement some of the stuff that I did. And I'm going to add some of the stuff that you guys recommend also. You feel me? So I'm trying to do something new for my on, on my channel as far as creating ingredients. But I want to create some of these ingredients with you guys and gals. You feel me? That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Oh, uh, ripple. Uh, but that's what I'm finna eat at it. I gotta get it this one more time. I gotta get it this one more time. I thought I seen my boy Thyron up in here. TNT barbecue. Um, I, it's good to see my girl. Um, Grandma Cheek Cheek. And Grandma Cheek Cheek, I was sitting in there cleaning out my room while my wife was going to Texas. And I ran across um, a seasoned greeting card that you had sent me. And I said, look at this right here. And I tell you the honest God truth, you, you send me a card basically almost every year. And I thank you so much. You are one of, you are one of the sweetest, kindest, and persons, individuals who I ever, who I do know. And I thank you for being you. Thank you for being you all by yourself. And your daughter definitely knows she got a gem as a mother in her life. So bless you. I'm serious. She just made my day. I swear to God she did. She made my night. I'm telling you, man. <clears throat> no more boots. Hey, boots. Hey, boots. Hey, boots. Boots. I still ain't had nothing to touch since December the 4th. I'm still holding on, my sister. I'm still holding on. Still holding on. It's a stripe of um strip of sweet pickle, red bell pepper. Sweet pickle, I never had that. Hey Pete, have you ever made some of that before? Have you ever made that before on your YouTube channel? I never had it. I might do something like that. I wonder how would it taste? I did a cucumber recipe. And pickle cucumber recipe. I wonder if I could do the exact same recipe, but instead of putting the um, cu um, cucumbers in it, just replace it with the pickles. I'm going to try that, man, and just see the difference in it. You know what I'm saying? Because I believe that will be good, like you say, on burgers, sandwiches, and um, probably some pepper steak sandwiches, some grilled chicken sandwiches. They'd probably be good on that. That's a good idea. Congratulations, Matt. Okay. What did I do? <laughs> oh, December 4th. Thank you, boo. Thank you, boo. Mimi. Thank you, Mimi. Mimi, you know you're still in my heart. For real. Man, that was good, boy. I'm not lying. My wife is going to love that. Take it back to old school. Mama style. I miss home. That's how it is. Hey, me, me. Great choice right there. Those are the two best people in the world, in my opinion. Oh, Lord. Switch from one to the next. I'll fix my mama plate. Shoot, take this too. Mm.
No, I'm uh... What time is it? Y'all look. Let me call my mom. See if she's still up. If she up, I'm going to take her plate. Because I got to pick my wife up at the airport tonight anyway. So I can chill over there at her house. Until my wife calls and tells me to come pick her up. God damn it. I know she enjoyed it. Mm -mm -mm. I know she enjoyed it. There's no doubt in my mind. Lord, how my huh? Say what I'm eating. Okay. I'm going to show you. I think it might be a little late, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Hold on. Here we go. This was stewed chicken and pasta. It was. I devoured the crap out of it. I ain't going to lie. Uh. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That was good. Stewed chicken and rice. This is back in the day right here. This took you back to your childhood. Look. That took you back to your childhood. Hey, Grandma Cheap Cheap, I got her some. I got her some in that pot over there. I got, I'm going to fix my mama plate, though. I still got enough. Since it's us two, I got to learn how to scale down. On cooking food because I'm so used to cooking for the big, for the big family that it ain't nobody here now but just me and her. And so she went to Texas because my daughter and son-in-law they in Texas now. He in the military. And he's stationed down there in Texas, so they had a military ball, and they got two kids. And my son-in-law ended up on um, buying my wife a round trip ticket. To come down to Texas if she would watch the kids for them while they go to the military ball. And she packed up and she went and I was like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, boy. Now, for me having these days all by myself, now I'm missing that woman. Bro, my Jesus, I'm missing her, baby. Huh? I don't know what to do. But here we go. Where's your mom? You, mom's YouTube? I got to see that. Where's my mom's YouTube? My mom ain't got no YouTube. No, my mom ain't got no YouTube. Oh, you talking about Grandma Cheap Cheap? Grandma Cheap Cheap, yeah. Go to Grandma Cheap Cheap. That's my, that's my grandma, that's my baby right there. I don't care, that's my relative. That's my relative. We ain't blood, but that's my relative. Trust and believe me, she does some awesome um, recipes and um, you might see that she hasn't been posting nothing lately. And there's meanings behind that. But at the same token, if you go over there and you look at her videos and you try some of her recipes, I'm telling you right now, you will not be disappointed. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. It's so good. So good. Mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all please forgive me. All right. That plate gone. This is so good, y'all. I'm telling you. I'm not lying when I say it's good. Look, it's good. It's good. That's one plate. Gone. And I got to work on this plate. Mm-hmm. It's so good. And that's the shoebox right there full of seasoning. That's the shoebox full of seasoning. And look here. The next thing I'm going to do, I got some bananas over there that's over ripened. I'm going to take them bananas and I'm going to try to make a banana pound cake. Most people ain't into, I guess, the sweet videos or stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And you try to make stuff, man, for people to try. 
and you try to make, I guess, recipes that people would like. But I'm posting this recipe on YouTube. I'm going to do a recipe of the banana pound cake because I do know for, for it, it's going to be good. I'm thinking if I should go ahead and throw walnuts in the midst of it or just leave the walnuts or pecans out. I'm not sure yet. But this is a recipe that I want to post on YouTube so that my daughter could try. She loves cooking and stuff like that, you know what I mean? And she do try a lot of my recipes that's on YouTube. So I'm going to make this, this video and hopefully sometime down the line she'll take a glimpse of it and try it, you know what I mean? And um, basically what I try to do, man, is share the same secrets for other people to try, but then for other people who's, who have eaten my food already, they want to know, how do you make this and how do you make that? All I got to do is tell them, hey, go to my YouTube channel and go check it out. You know what I'm saying? Seriously. So, James, what's going on, James? And how you doing? How you doing? Frugal, how you doing? Miss Thang, how you doing, Miss Thang? Smoking Joe Barbecue, what's up? What's up? Barry say, sprinkle them on top. Mm, 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 mm. Lord. That sound good too. Sprinkle them on top. Barry. That do sound good. Yeah, that might that might play. That might play. I like that. Sprinkle them on top. And berries, another thing that I do to all my cakes, man. And this ain't nothing new. You know what I'm saying? I got the idea from one of my um, um, baker friends down here in North Carolina because he baked and sell cakes. And he, he said one time to me, he said, man, you know how you can get the most out of your cakes and how to keep your cakes moist? He was like, man, if you make sugar, syrup. He said, if you make sugar syrup and sprinkle that sugar syrup over your cakes, it would definitely keep the cake moist and it would give it um, a great taste and a great bite whenever somebody tried. And when I tried it the first time, I was hooked ever since. So now I put um, simple syrup, man, all over all of my cakes. If I make a banana loaf, I put it over that. Pound cakes, I put it over that. I hate to say this, but even if I do um, waffles, I put it over the waffles, man. I'm telling you, honest God, true. That's that's some good stuff, man, for real. But well, I'm gonna try that though. Lord, this stew chicken is good. Y'all, I'm not lying. Mm hmm. He's a will and he lives in all. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is how food gets you, right? It was so good, it had you singing all kind of junk. You know what I'm saying? It had you singing all kind of junk, boy. You were like, I just want to be right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Lord, I'm a... we'll fall down there. This is some good stuff. I'm not lying. It is so damn I'm good. I'm glad. That I decided to make it this way. Oh! I'm so glad. I am full. Mm-hmm. I am full. And y'all gotta try this recipe. Look here. This is how you know your food good. This is how you know your food good. Right there. Huh? If you go to the beginning of this video, 
you'll see how these plates were. And I finished within an hour. Within an hour. Within an hour. These mugs are gone within an hour. So, even with that being said, have you heard of Kush? What's that? What's that? I never heard of that though. That's some good stuff. All right. So this is what I want to say, y'all. Check this out. I got this video coming up. Um, it's going to come soon. And like I said, when you see this video, man, it's going to have um, a remnant of me doing some of my old videos because what it is, I'm holding, I'm holding the, the cell phone. I'm doing this on my cell phone. And I'm holding the cell phone in one hand and I'm cooking with another hand and I'm talking directly to y'all as I do this. So it's not going to be no voiceover and I'm not going to have no music in the background or nothing like that. Hey, Sister Joyce, how you doing? Sister, Sister Joyce. Hey, Sister Jay, how you doing? How you doing? And so um, when y'all see this video, man, I'm telling you, I'm not going to add a whole lot of um, ingredients to it. So it's going to be simple and plain. You know what I mean? You say um, you can use cornbread and buttermilk. Or you can use cornmeal and milk. Huh. I never heard. I mean, no, me, me. Cornbread or buttermilk. Kush. I never heard of that. I'm going to have to check into that, me, me. They got recipe. That's the name of the recipe? K-U-S-K? Is that right? Or K-U-S-H. Let me go back and see. K-U-S-H. That's the name of the recipe. Okay, I'm going to check into that. Sister J, I hope all is well. And I got 5% five sec, five percent on my phone. Well, Sister J, I just, I just took over. I just took and hammered this here plate. And I'm going to show you the plate. And it was stewed chicken. I had stewed chicken and rice in that one. And then I did some stewed chicken fettuccine in that one. And I'm telling you the honest God truth. The flavor profile that I put together for these dishes was off the chain. You know why it was off the chain, Sister J? Because we took it back old school. You know what I mean? We took it back old school. I'm talking the way that mama and them used to cook in the kitchen. I ain't talking about how we cook in these days. Well, I kind of switched up on the pasta, though. I kind of like, that ain't what my mama would do. You know what I mean? So... I did the, the stewed chicken and rice her way, and then I jazzed it up a little bit with this, um, the pasta my way. You know what I mean? But it's definitely old school. So if you can go back to that, you know, this live right here, go back to the beginning of the live, you'll see exactly what I had on these two plates in the beginning. But right now, it ain't nothing on these two plates except for bone and a piece of skin. I'm telling you right now, I hear what God, it was good. Mm, 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 mm. It was good. And anyway, like I say, I got a video coming tomorrow, and the video will be posted between the hours of like six to seven p.m. I try to get them in, try to get the video up between six and seven. All right, and that's Eastern time here in um, North Carolina. And um, like I say, all my videos be posted on every Monday, but within within between six to seven. Um, PM and um, the video is definitely going to be a good video man I wanted to give um, accolades to um, one of my YouTube friends whatever the case may be and I got a question of man how many of y'all really eat peanut butter and, uh, and banana sandwiches or peanut butter sam or, or banana sandwiches with Miracle Whip so that would definitely be in the video tomorrow man so I guess man I hope that you guys could check out that video and um I think the week after that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fix my wife some some liver, liver and onions. All right, I'm gonna do some liver and onions. So next Monday, I believe that that will be the video, liver and onions, because a couple of people has been requesting for me to do that video, and I know that one of the subscribers that's been asking, I had put them off for a minute now. So I did promise them on the last live that I would have that liver and onion recipe up within two weeks. 
So that means if Monday's gonna pass by and I got another video coming up and it's not living onions, so next Monday we have to be living onions because I have to live up to that standard. If I give somebody my word, I have to keep that word or whatever the case may be, or even try. I don't want to be a disappointment to nobody, especially when it comes down to my YouTube family. So that's what I'm gonna try to work on. And hopefully um I can get you guys, man, to share the love. And um, other than that, at the end of every video, I say this, man. And before I even go, and for those of y'all who are still here, I want to say thank you. Oh, sweet Sadie, I didn't see you, girl. I got to say, what's up? <laughs> sweet Sadie say, oh, hell no. Nah. But look, you must have said that to the livers, the livers and onions. But sweet Sadie, here's something that I do have since you just came in on the um, tail end of things. And look, y'all, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't eat livers and onions. I swear I don't eat it. I can't stand liver and onions. But my wife loves it. And I got YouTube family who loves it too. And they they want to get that recipe. So I'm going to give them what they want. I can cook it, but I can't eat it. That's the I tried. I tried. God knows I tried to eat it. It is not for me. So it's for some people. It's for some people. Barry, you say it's good. Hey, I'm not going to knock you for saying it's good. But if you like it, I hope that you try the recipe. And I'm pretty sure, man, that you will love it. I just, I would take the gravy and eat it over a bed of rice or mashed potatoes any day. But I can't do the livers. I can't do it. But for all of my people out there who don't eat liver, what I could do, I could do a video showing you exactly how I take a... um how I take a slab of beef. It's, it's not like the beef steak, if I'm not. It's the sirloin cut of a beef, of the beef. You know, I'm trying to get it at. Uh, I think it's the sirloin cut of the beef, right? I can show you guys, man, how I do that with onions and gravy versus having having to eat the liver. Mm -mm, swear to God. And I know you could do it with Q steak too, but I'm going to do this with the steak and show you guys how, how tender that thing will be and how flavorful it will be in the onion and gravy. So I can do that for you guys who don't eat liver. But man, me, I can't eat it. I swear to God, man. It just turns my stomach, turns my whole entire world upside down if I had to eat liver. Jesus, just thinking about eating liver. Chicken liver, people eat chicken livers, chicken gizzards, and then they eat that liver pudding. Mm -mm, that was suck. Few things in this world I say I'm never gonna put my mouth on again. Pig ears, I'm never putting my mouth on pig ears again. Pig's feet, I'm never putting my mouth on pig's feet ever again. As long as I can help it, I'm not. Treat meat, I'm never eating treat meat ever in a day. You understand what I'm saying? I can't do it. Spam, mm -mm. ain't gonna happen. None of the other kind of stuff, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You say, all this food out here, people still eat it. Yeah, they eat liver. Beef. And look, when I go in there and I look, they got beef liver and calf liver. That's all you're getting. Beef liver and calf liver. You know what I'm saying? And I can't do it. I get, I get cook it. I can cook it. But I can't eat it. Spam is good. What? Cooking with Big Drake, man, I got to subscribe to your channel because your channel, your name ain't familiar, man. I don't think I, I don't think I seen your name here before, but you know what? Let me say this first. Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. Love and not hate. That's for all people, man, who comes into this here live, man, who pretty much, I, I don't recognize you, but you get the welcome and that's how I welcome you guys, man. But I hope, man, if anything... You know what I'm saying? That that you subscribe. And matter of fact, let me do this real quick. Because I want to write down your name. I write this on the shoebox. And that's um, your name will be the only one channel name on the shoebox. That's cooking. I'ma check your channel out and soon, probably as soon as I get off this live. Cooking with what's that? Big Dre. Alright. Come on here. Cooking with Big Dre. All right, Big Dre. Big Dre, welcome, my friend. I'm going to check you out, man. 
Dre, do you got any videos up? You got any videos up? Say it's new to YouTube. Do you got any videos up? You say, Barry, I don't mean, but you better tell it. You better tell it, Tina. Barry, try to pull people in. Okay, look, y'all. Y'all do me a favor. For all of y'all that's here, eight, well, it's 17 people here, including Barry. I mean, including Dre, which means he'll be 18. But for all of us um, others, man, let's just go over, man, and show the brother some love. You know what I'm saying? Let's just go over, man, and be supportive the best way that we could possibly be, y'all. One thing I always say, man, on my YouTube channel, man, this here platform, there's room for everybody. You know what I mean? There's room for everybody. So that means, man, if we're able, let's just support. Let's just support, support, and support. I don't believe in no YouTuber that's big. I don't believe in no YouTuber that's small. The way I see things within my own eyes, man, we are just one family knitted together. You know what I'm saying? And we just trying to work together, y'all. That's all I look at. So <clears throat> if you're here on my YouTube channel and you know what I mean? And you want to ask people to check out some of your, you know, some of your content that's on your channel, man, feel free, man. You know what I mean? Just feel free. Because I'm not like one of those people who say you always come here, you're trying to shine, or or you just pop up whenever you want to get people to subscribe to you. No, forget all of that, bro. If you here, you here. If you want to ask people to come in and check out your stuff, man, as long as it's done under the proper way, we don't do this, 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 the sub for sub type of movement jump. We don't do that here, though. But we try to be genuine, man, because for one, if somebody sub you, I feel as if, you know what I'm saying, you should sub them back. But not don't just sub just for sub, but try to support that channel also. You feel me? Support that channel, man. If you see that uh, uh, YouTube um, creator has a content of uh, you know that our video that's up and it's only five minutes long and you don't feel like watching the whole video watch two hours and 50 minutes of it two hours and 50 seconds of it you know what i'm saying two hours i'm sorry two minutes and 50 seconds of that five minute video if they got a 10 minute video up and you don't feel like watching um 10 minutes of it at least watch five minutes of it you feel me if you're just taking a bath or something just let the video play in the background you feel me you know, you ain't going to be in the bathtub the whole 10 minutes, you know? So, that's how we do. We try to support each and every one, y'all, seriously. Because um that way, I just I just love, man, I love y'all, honestly. You know, I love y'all, man. So, I just got, a, I just got a, um, a thing in me where I like to see people, man, you know, thrive together. We all just working together, bro. That's all we trying to do. You know what I'm saying? That's all we're trying to do. So this is Dre. This is me, bro. The, you, you're only going to see me 100%. I can't sit here, man, and sugarcoat, you know, this thing as if I got it all together because, Dre, I don't have it all together. What you see is what you get, and this is genuine, my brother. So the advice that I could give you while you're on your channel, man, you know, work your platform um, the best way you can, and if it works for you, you let it work for you. And hey, man, you always got a support in me, bro. So there you go. Mad respect to you. And everyone else that's here, y'all welcome Big Dre. Please welcome Big Dre, all right? That's what's up, man. I love all y'all. But I'm in this thing, man, for an hour and 13 minutes, man. Anytime, Big Dre. Bro, anytime. You got people down here, man, that's like Sister J right there. Um, the roadie um, to good cooking, man. You know what I'm saying? That's a beautiful person, man. Um, check out her videos and, and subscribe to her channel, bro. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong. That's the only woman I know. And listen to me, Big Dre. The road to the good cooking, that's the only woman that I know that given, given the opportunity, given the chance to stand up against any one of these big um, barbecue pit masters, I believe she would take them down. I'm not just saying that because she's my YouTube buddy. I'm saying that because the woman got skills. And she got the equipment to pay the bills. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'm a fan of that woman. You just don't know. Check out my girl, Sweet Sadie. You know what I'm saying? Sweet Sadie just lives next door in the next city. I live in Durham. She live in Raleigh. We both in North Carolina. God told me. That's my girl, Sweet Sadie. No more boots, Big Drake. <clears throat> the, the woman with the blue wrench right there. 
Big Dre, let me tell you what she did for me. This is why I say our community is tight, right? This is why I say our community is tight. Because No More Boots, um, she introduced me to a life of sobriety right now. You know, right now. December the 4th, you know what I mean? She she um, issued out a challenge to myself, you know what I mean? And the challenge was for me to not do, um, to drink any alcohol. It was a no drinking challenge for one month. And now I'm sorry, for two months. And me, Dre, being drunk, doing this, I'm drinking a 40 and everything else, man. And me not knowing, me accepting that challenge or what I'm getting myself into, I'm thinking that the challenge is for one month. So she was like, the challenge would be over on February the 2nd. So I'm like, okay, I could do that, man. Number one month. But being it deep, being it being December the 4th, I committed to two months. So it dawned on me. So I was like, you know what? Um, I'm going to accept this challenge and I'm going to do it. I gave her my oath. I gave her my word. And man, that was the best thing that ever happened to me. I'm telling you, bro. I ain't have, I, ain't, I did not have a drink, you know what I'm saying, since December the 4th. I got two bottles up in that place right now, up in my room, that has not been cracked. And I don't believe I'm going to crack it. You feel me? So that's that's how close we are. You know what I mean? That's how close we are. And I'm thankful for all of my YouTube family. That's that's what I'm thankful for, brother. I'm telling you, man. I just love, I love people. And I love the people, man, who follow me. And I love the people, man, who I call family. Because I'm telling you right now, without this movement that we got, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, none of this would happen. None of this would happen if it wasn't, wasn't for all of us sticking together, you know? And if I see faces like Tina, and you know miss sadie you know what i'm saying there's countless countless of other people on here like mimi you know what i'm saying and um there's countless of other folks man when i see these faces on a daily basis if i ever go live or even in videos i know man that these are the people who, who are very supportive and i got the 